guys, it's Katie and it's book tubeathon day two. Yesterday I finished up my day with reading a little bit more of Gone Girl. I only got like about 20 pages read from where I last left off, so it wasn't that good. I just read a little bit at night during the 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern Time sprints on Twitter. So I don't know. This book's really good though. But like I was kind of busy yesterday, so that's also why I didn't get that much reading done. But this morning I did some reading. And they had Twitter sprints from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. this morning. So I did some Twitter sprints. And I completed Wolf Children. And this is a manga, so it was really easy. I got through this book in about an hour and a half, and that was like 500 some pages, so yay. And um, then after I finished that book, there was still about like, there was like a 15 minutes left for the sprint, so I read a little bit more Gone Girl. I only got to page 166, so I read like 16 pages this morning. So yeah, I finished one book, so I'm pretty happy about that. And this was for the challenge to read someone else's favorite book. So I completed that challenge for the readathon. And I'm still working on Gone Girl. So, yeah, after I read Gone Girl, I might intervene a little bit with this and read some Dean Angel just because it like gives you a little break from this. Um, but after this, after this, I'm really not sure what I want to read. Um,. I have Mind Games, Between the Lines, and Harry Potter number 4 to read that are still on my TBR. I'm not sure which one I want to read after this. I might read Mind Games just because it's short. Um, but I don't know. Let me know down below what book I should read next because I really just have no clue. Um, but yeah. So let me get my... I don't know how to do math. So far I've read a total of 715 pages for this readathon. So, I think it's pretty good. Reading this manga really just got me going some more with the word or the page count thing. So, I'm going to try to finish this book by the end of tonight and hopefully start a new one. Um, but we'll see how that goes cuz I had that goal yesterday, but that didn't work. So, we're going to try and I really want to finish this book cuz it's so good. Anyway, today's challenge for the video contest was to reenact a scene from a book. So at the end of this video, coming up in a little bit, you can see my scene reenactment. I reenacted a scene from the book Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And this was like the beginning of chapter 25 of the book. And it's just the conversation between um, Kath and Reagan. And they're talking about the ground rules for dating Levi so it was a really fun kind of simple thing to film so I hope you guys enjoy that so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in my next update tomorrow bye are you awake Have you been watching me sleep? Yes, Bella. Are you awake? Uh, no. We'll wake up. We need to set some ground rules. <sighs> what is wrong with you? If I woke you up like this, you'd murder me. That's because I've got all the hand in a relationship. Now wake up. We need to talk about Levi. Okay. So. You guys made up? Yeah. Did you sleep with him? Oh, holy crap, Reagan, no! Good. I don't want to know when you sleep with him. That's the first ground rule. I'm not gonna sleep with him. See, that's exactly the kind of thing I don't want to know. Wait, what do you mean you're not gonna sleep with him? I mean, not in the immediate future. We, we just talk. Yeah, but you've been hanging out with him all year. Things you pressure me to do. One, underage drinking. Two prescription drug abuse, three, premarital sex. Oh my god, Kath, premarital sex, are you kidding me? Where are you going with this? <sighs> Levi was my boyfriend. 
I know. All through high school. I know, I know. Don't paint a picture for me. I lost my virginity with him. Ugh, stop. Seriously. This is exactly what the ground rules are for. Levi's my best friend, and I'm your only friend, and I really don't want this to get weird. Too late. And you're not my only friend. I know, you've got the whole internet. <sighs> okay, what are your ground rules? One, nobody talks to me about sex. Done. Two, no lovey-dovey stuff in front of me. Done and done. I'm telling you, there's no lovey-dovey stuff. Three, shut up, no one tells me about their relationship. Fine. Four, you've really been thinking about this, haven't you? I came up with the ground rules the first time you guys kissed. Four, Levi's my friend and you can't be jealous of that. I feel like it's too soon to agree to that. No, we've got to get this out of the way. You can't be jealous. And in return, I won't flex my best friend muscles to remind myself and Levi that he loved me first. Oh my god. Would you, would you actually do that? I might. In a moment of weakness, you've got to understand that I've been Levi's favorite girl for my whole life. He hasn't dated anyone else, not, not seriously, since we broke up. God, I, re I really hate this.